Now I can play. I play competitive volleyball about three to four times a week, and do a lot of overhand hitting. So the first question I asked my doctor is, should I stop playing volleyball? And he said no immediately, unless it's a direct cause of the injury. He said um, that he's finding through the pandemic that everyone stopped moving around, stopped doing activities, and their joint and orthopedic issues are worse. <laughs> than the peating, people are actually out there doing stuff, um, especially through the pandemic. So there's been more neck issues, hip issues, back issues. So what are your thoughts? Absolutely. Um, your doctor is absolutely right. And I'm pleased that he actually said that because some of the doctors would have given you the uh, wrong advice to stop. No, you should not stop. You see, movement is essential and joint movement, every kind of movement um, is essential. So unless you're gonna be directly in arms way and get knocked over by, by a 40 kilogram, 40 ton vehicle in your sport, you should really carry on with your sport. Because we know that movement encourages lubrication. The special cells in our bodies are uh, in the joints, uh, the synovial cells and the cartilage cells. They rely on movement as the signal to in, uh, instigate their receptors to uh, kickstart the production of fluid, whether it be oily syrup type synovial fluid, or just draw and suck in more water into the joint. And everybody would understand that once there is oil on the kitchen floor, it's very slippery. So That's movement what is you key want to getting that. Joint. So, so movement is key to getting that, that synovial fluid moving. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay. So your doctor is right in saying you should carry on because at the end of the day, volleyball is not so much a contact sport, number one. So no one hopefully is coming over the net to attack you and tackle you. <laughs> but it's still high impact because you're going to jump to quite